So the day has finally arrived for us to take our biggest journey to date. We're heading out to Nebraska for the first big pull, almost upon our one year anniversary of being full timers on the road. Please join us for our adventures. I'm sure there's going to be some. Spot 53 at South Birmingham RV Park, Pelham, Alabama. Exit 242 on 65 is directly off of it within a mile. You'll we'll be here. We've got a straight 50 amp pull through. Got a couple shade trees. You can see here. they got a pool pool up here playground it's open so that's nice they got propane filling here you name it easy check-in with all the quarantine stuff they have your little card on the table you walk in pick it up they ask you that's you and they tell you where your site is and it's already mapped out and drawn which way to pull into so nice spot spot 53 i'm thinking fly a drone here no. I'm ready to go check out the pool. Let's go check out the pool. Traffic wasn't bad today. We were talking earlier, this could be cool. You plan your days out, but today was a very good traffic day and weather day so far. It was. Really fast. But it's also nice to be able to take a break and just hang out and relax. 
Exactly. Is Garrett Heckwood going to join us? He's on a scooter. He might still play, though. He did, a nice one. This is the playground. Game room nine to nine. They got in here. Table tennis, big checkers, food ball. Hmm. That's closed. Locked. It's locked. We looked at some local places and close to where we're staying in Helena, Alabama, I believe it is. And the depot restaurant was right there. It seemed like a sandwich place and a good place to go eat. But I'm um, saying here is this going to be a cool place to eat. But come to find out, it was takeout only. And I didn't want to do that in a restaurant I'd never ate at before. So we took in the sights and there's a nice rail, uh, rail car out front and those type of things. But we'll find another restaurant here in a second to check out. After our one night stop in South Birmingham, it was time to move on and head on to Arkansas and get the day two on the go. We're on the road again. So the sensor check, I showed you what it was saying. You can't hardly see it now. But here's what I did on my phone. It was uh, exactly, as you can see, 86. You probably can't see it there, but it's 86. So it is. it does read correct. I'm very shocked. It was off by two pounds being high. Just the max these are 87, as far as the sensor can recognize. So. When they're reading 86, 87, that's the highest that it goes. It's beeping at me right now a little bit, but it is reading correctly. So pressures have built up from the time we left at 75 or so cold. We went up about 10 or 11 pounds. So I don't know if that's normal or not, but I'll keep monitoring. Hey guys, Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, Mississippi, here's what we're coming for. Mississippi! Mississippi. We're across the third Mississippi today. We go to plant two below Mississippi.
at the end of day two, I wish I would have had more things to say about the Memphis KOA in Arkansas and Mary in Arkansas, I believe, but some things are left un best left unsaid. Uh, pitchers do a thousand words, or worth a thousand words, or however you want to say it, but we had it Arkansas and we got out of there. Uh, $70 a night is not my kind of thing for what was there, so we hit the road, ready for day three.